We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whores' asses. While leaving the docks, Geralt will also be approached by a sinister character. White-haired one. I have an offer for you. He speaks as if the harm the incense could cause is his motivation. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. But you should be wary that he's willing to offer gold just like that. He thinks he can make more money once he gets the recipe. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. There's a crowd around the store trying to get the merchant to stop his trade. It looks like the incense was indeed addictive. You've got to do something about that filthy business. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like fist tech. The inventory doesn't show anything particularly addictive, so you'll have to ask him point blank about the recipe. They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A lady told me it works just like fist tech. Geralt can either take the real recipe back for money, but with the knowledge that he's releasing a drug that will destroy people's lives. So far it's been restricted to Flotsam, but the damage it's done is pretty clear from the crowd protesting it. Or he can try to play both sides by taking the fake one. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward and I keep my secret. Agreed. He also needs to decide whether to convince the merchant to stop his trade. This is the right thing to do if his motivation is to stop the harm it's causing. This is one of the first spots where you can successfully use the Persuade ability. It has a good chance to fail, but you should reload and try again until it succeeds. I see you've done it! Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your reward. Not surprisingly, the merchant doesn't take Geralt at his word. Grand! I must check its authenticity in the lab before I can give you your coin. I'm a cautious man. Forgive me. I'm cautious too. Give me back the formula. Alright, we'll go together. While you're in the square, Geralt can also check the message board near the inn. There's a number of contracts to be had, and it's a good way to get the resources to do well later. The sorceress Sheila has a room on the second floor at the inn. She's pretty cagey. Are you and Triss friends? Friends? Colleagues, I'd say. Acquaintances, perhaps. I know all the sorceresses in the north. We aren't that many in number. Which is why we support one another. What about pleasant surprises? But you can use persuasion on her. Is that how you think of yourself, Witcher? There's only one way to find out. Kill the Kran, Witcher. If you look at the chest next to her, you can see her notes. Despite her bluffing, she needs Geralt just as much as he needs her if they're going to kill the monster. Eventually, you'll need to speak to Cedric in the shanty town outside the walls about dealing with the Kran. Know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. You can overhear a conversation between the elves about the missing urban women. In Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Trith. And confirm that when speaking to him. It's pretty clear that this is a serious issue. Yeah. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharam? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. No. Geralt can maintain Witcher neutrality, or he can choose to look into the matter and try and resolve the tensions in town. Cedric does his best to keep tensions from boiling over, and the Elder also seems to have a good head on his shoulders. It would be wise to listen to what they have to say. Not so long ago, our King Faltest had a daughter named Ada. The girl died, but an evil man cursed her and wouldn't let her rest in peace. Ada was reborn as a strigger. She left her sarcophagus at night and, hungry for human flesh, hunted on Vizima streets. 
The city was frozen with fear, and the king promised a reward for lifting the curse from May his daughter. May the gods preserve you. Many tried, but they all failed. Then a witcher came to Vizima. He heard people out, examined wounds left by the Strigger's talons, and accepted the job, despite many warnings. The witcher fought the beast the whole night. He led her Praise on, the gods. dodged her fangs, and parried her furious attacks. Though he was close to death, he didn't want to kill her. This was the first time the Strigger saw such fierceness in a man. She felt the strength of his iron will and backed down. Witches know how to dispel enchantments and spells May like nobody else. You. That brave soul also knew how to lift the curse. He sealed himself in the Strigger's sarcophagus, beside her mother's corpse, and waited for morning. The third cock crow lifted the evil spell and turned the Strigger back into a princess. Praise However, the, the curse was not dispelled immediately. The Witcher nearly died, attacked by the beast in girl's form. The king's men found him bleeding. They also found the princess cured, but still feeble of mind. That's how Foltest regained his daughter. May the gods preserve Such you. Such things do happen under the sun and the moon. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. The commandant wanted to see me. It's now late and Geralt has a date with the commandant. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. The ballista will stop Geralt from reaching the Pontar Valley. It must be dealt with. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. If... Convincing a working girl to distract him does the job. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. And at only the cost of a few arm wrestles. Damn the dogs! The old man got me! <laughs> Nothing better than a fireside feast! I'm on duty. <laughs> Except a fireside oh, piece with copious amounts Your of liquor. Your comrades are well at it having their <laughs> Add fun. Add into the Why mix and it doesn't get worse. any better. You're Luckily, right. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Laredo's still busy, and that gives Roche the bright idea of looking into Laredo's secrets. That's weird. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. What do you want? Shut Long it, soldier! Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's galley! Looks like he's meeting with the sorceress. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. That trap should prove useful against the K-Run. Plowing squirrels. I'd put them in their place. Do you all talk? Prove it? I doubt anyone would stop you. We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison's thinning. <laughs> now you're talking. We don't need to look for the Scoia'tael. Cut the rebel down one by one and we'll finally have peace. You'd go after the women? then relish killing the elven brats. So, the brats turn into squirrels. And once the women are gone, there'll be no more brats. Stop talking bollocks or I'll go. Here to see the Commandant. Turns out that Laredo wants to use Geralt against his square tail. He knows the elves will try to rescue their friends in the prison barge, and he's setting up a trap. Clear that Laredo steals from the town and the merchants, and uses that wealth to keep his men happy with plenty of food, drink and women. He's basically a robber baron, and his entire focus is on keeping power. The influx of powerful figures like Geralt and the sorcerer Shile represent a threat to this power, so he wants to keep them at least neutral if not friendly. He'll use them to further his goals if he can, but his primary goal is to get them out of his metaphorical hair. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, 
kennel straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. When your vet sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do? You detest non-humans. I detest Yorveth, the coward who hunts the innocent instead of facing soldiers. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. The squirrels are up to something. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Dorito's got something going with Sheila. Back at Rocha's, they discuss the obvious. Come on, have a drink with us. And have a drink with the lads. Celebrating something? We did away with Theopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his ass. You behaved like swine. Let if you beat Vess at knife throwing, you'll get the thrower ability. It gives far more damage to throw knives. The targets are the ore leaning against the wall to the left, the hammer hanging from the window, and the map to the right. The drinking is interrupted by some locals. There they are! Those are the shitheads who desecrated Veopatis' statue! They threw knives at a statue of Veopatis! It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? The idol that was desecrated is a symbol of the local god of nature. It predates the arrival of humans to this area, but they've since adopted the god as their own and live in harmony with the forest nearby. What did you say? We also get to witness Rocio's hot-blooded nature. This is partially driven by his childhood past. Vernon. You can use the Persuade ability on Roche to calm him down. That should give Geralt the third and final level of Persuade. I have to take a walk. Vernon was a half-orphan. He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Bloodshed averted, they get back to their drinking. Gentlemen, to our health. Just like after the Battle of Gag... Gagu... Gage. Aye, that was a right piss up. We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whores' asses. Got drunk as newt, you did. Never seen anything like it in my life. But there's a price to pay for a good time. Using the intimidate ability here should give you the third tier. Talk to the madame. She knows the details. Hopefully Geralt didn't do anything he'd regret. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.